for the scale calculation practice. Uh, this is super easy. Just what you need to do to be able to graph your independent dependent variable are already labeled for you. Um, this is actually, this is from the variables and controls. This is the data that goes with that experiment. But basically, for each one, you just find your maximum, find your minimum. You're going to subtract them to find your range. The number of lines on the graph that I always give you is 20, so that's filled in for you. Calculate your scale, that's range, divided by number of lines, and then round that number up to get your adjusted scale. So, for example... For your independent variable for this one, we've got 60 is our biggest, 10 is our smallest, 60 minus 10 is 50. 50 divided by 20 is uh, the same as 5 divided by 2, so that's uh, a 2.5. Now, for your adjusted scale, you've got some choices. I wouldn't round this all the way up to 5, that's pretty far. You could round it up to 3, or you could just keep it at 2.5 because 2.5 plus another 2.5 is 5. So you know that every other line would just be 5. That'd be super easy to tick along. You'll do 1, 2, flip it over, 3, 4 charts. Then you're going to pick one, pick one of these 1, two, three, four sets of data. Pick just one of them and make a graph of it. Make sure you use this graphing paper because this has 20 lines. If you use another set of graphing paper in order for this to work, make sure you count out 20 lines for both axes. Keep in mind, this very first line right here, that one doesn't count. All right, hopefully that helps.